Nobody said it was easy. That's why you shoot 1,000 three-pointers, make 300, study all night, then shoot 1,000 more. Get straight A's. Keep practicing. Be a good friend. Push through it. Make the playoffs. Graduate from Lada. University Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the West Coast Conference. From earning interest to getting a loan, our rates beat the competition because we believe your bank should work as hard as you do. featuring the Waves of Pepperdine University. Today's Wavescast is a production of the Pepperdine University Department of Athletics, Game and Entertainment, and the WCC Network. A welcome into Firestone Fieldhouse on the Pepperdine campus in Malibu. I'm Al Epstein as the Waves get ready to take on the Golden Eagles from Cal State Los Angeles. Well, the Pepperdine weighs five and five on the season. They're coached by Lorenzo Romar in his fifth year, and the Waves come off an 83-73 overtime loss uh, against Grand Canyon on Saturday night. And today, Pepperdine battles a solid Division II team in Cal State Los Angeles. They're six and five on the season, coached by Jim Saya, now in his seventh season, and the Golden Eagles come off an 84-66 win uh, against San Francisco State nine days ago on December 10th. The expected crowd at Firestone Fieldhouse should number about 200, not a big crowd expected on this Monday afternoon, a couple days before Christmas. Weather outside in Malibu is sunny and clear, 65 degrees, a nice day here in the Southland. It is Pepperdine and Cal State Los Angeles in non-conference play. Starting lineups for today's game for Pepperdine, they will go with uh, up front, Javon Porter along with Max Lewis, the center, Carson Basham and the guards of Houston Millette and Mike Mitchell Jr. Head coach Lorenzo Omar in his fifth year. He's assisted by Ken Bone, the associate head coach. Curtis Allen, Gerald Brown are the assistants. And director of team operations is uh, John Embleman. For Cal State Los Angeles, who have six Division I college transfers, but they have a couple of key players out with injuries, they're going to go with four guards. But up front, Jared Perry, and then the guards, Caden Rashid, Shane Bell, Alexander Sokol, and Peyton Moore. Jim Sia, the head coach, and his seventh year. And not a big crowd capacity here. Firestone Fieldhouse is about 3,100, and as you will draw, oh, five, six, seven hundred. We might have a two or three hundred on hand as you take a look at Jim Sia, former assistant coach at UCLA for seven years in the late 1990s, early 2000s under Steve Levin. And Coach Jim Sia brings about 30 years of coaching experience. The Golden Eagles out of the CCAA, California Collegiate Athletic Association, one of the toughest Division II conferences in the nation. Pepperdine trying to break a three-game losing streak, and they win the opening tip, and Pepperdine in their white, blue, and orange. Porter in the lane, throws it off the glass, shot no good. It's tipped, and that misses, and Barry with the rebound for Cal State Los Angeles, who's without their leading scorer, Dominic Escobar, a 6'4 sophomore, out uh, of Coachella Valley, is averaging 16 points a game. Perry inside. The shot is blocked by Carson Basham, and the Waves come up with it. Carson Basham leads the West Coast Conference in block shots. He had five against Grand Canyon on Saturday. As the Waves go inside to Basham, he had 13 points and seven rebounds, and he gets the opening basket, and the Waves take a two to nothing lead. Waves, according to the local newspapers, come into this game as a 14-point favorite. There's a steal by Max Lewis, and he'll slam it in. Waves forced the turnover. Max Lewis, Pepperdine's leading scorer, at about 18 points a game. For Carson Basham, he now has 16 bucks on the year, 
and his teammate Bubakar Koulibaly also with 15. All right, Cal State LA, uh, team pick 10th in a strong CCAA with 12 schools. Cal State San Bernardino picked to win the league. Seven on the shot clock. Shane Bell on the left side will pull up his three-pointer, hits the rim, and the rebound grabbed by Millet. Four nothing Beberdine. Millet go down the lane, fumbled in traffic, and the Waves turn it over. At the other end, driving Shane Bell, and it rolls off the rim, and the Waves get the rebound. Javon Border. That was just 10 points, seven rebounds a game. Goes inside to Mike Mitchell Jr. Out to Porter, three point shot is good. Javon Porter straight away hits the three. Comes off a 15 point and 10 rebound game in the loss against Grand Canyon. For Pemberdine, a young squad, and they're going up against an experienced team like Cal State Los Angeles. The Waves start four sophomores and a freshman, and their top guard off the bench is a true freshman so they are very young and a team that's trying to learn how to win they've had two games in overtime they lost nice shot turning, turning and spinning and knocking it in is Peyton Moore so Moore another outstanding young player and finally Cal State Los Angeles on the board trailing 7 to 2 with 17 19 to go Mitchell right side to Porter 6 11 freshman Handles the ball so well. Ball fumbled, tipped. Lewis grabs it away from Bell. And then Lewis three-point shot, and that was good. Max Lewis at 6'7", a sophomore. Out of Las Vegas, four-star recruit. We've had as many as 15 NBA scouts uh, coming out to Firestone Fieldhouse, and one player they're looking at seriously is Max Lewis. He was on the off-conference freshman team last year. Left side, Moore goes into the corner. And a three-point jump shot no good by Caden Rashid, a transfer from UC San Diego. Long pass to Basham, who saves, and the Waves give it back. I mean, on the other way, driving is Moore and lays it up and in. Peyton Moore with a lay-in. Oh, Peyton Moore at 6'4", 205, a senior out of Phoenix, three-point shot, Lewis again knocks it down. And Max Lewis off to a great start with eight points, and the Waves are up 13-4 to four with 16.08 remaining. Now Peyton Moore, transfer from the University of Denver, and averaging 12 points a game, and that's 15-3, so the Waves have to guard the three against this team. Here's Shane Bell once again, and he lays it up and in. He has been coming off the bench, but with the injuries that the Golden Eagles have had, he is starting today. He's averaging 13 points a game, and he has 16 three. We get a timeout. 15:46 to go. 13 to six. Pepperdine. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network.
Now Pepinarin off to a great start, leading 13 to six with 15.46 to play in this first half. The Waves making five of their first seven shots up. Good for 71%. And for Cal State Los Angeles, three of seven, 43% from the floor. Pepinarin trying to break a three game losing streak. They have the ball inbounds. Mike Mitchell Jr.'s pass goes along the baseline to Lewis. Backing in against Sokol underneath the Koulibaly, fake slams it in. Lugar Koulibaly, he's 6'11 junior, a transfer from USC where he played for two years, was a reserve most of the time, and been playing well for the Waves. Right side, Bell's three point shot, and he knocks it down. Shane Bell with a three pointer, and it's 15 to 9. Pepperdine out in front. Waves have led by as many as nine early on. From the baseline, Houston Millette. Ball tipped out of bounds. And it will be Pepperdine ball with 21 on the shot clock. Our officials for today's game, Mike Cyphers, Klaus Endresap, and Michael Mahika. Well, for Pepperdine, again, according to the local newspapers, Pepperdine comes into this game as a 14-point favorite. 15.07 remaining, Lewis will bring it in out to Malik Moore, 6'5", freshman guard out of Ventura. Been playing well this year. Houston Millette goes to Koulibaly up top, inside the Z-Deck and lays it up and in. The Waves do have a lot of size. Z-Deck, a 6'9", senior from the Czech Republic. His dad, George, played on that 1995 UCLA National Championship team. Lorenzo Romar, an assistant on that staff and had maintained relationships with the uh, Z-Deck family and Jan had a good career with the Waves down the lane driving and the ball knocked out of bounds as Caden Rashid shot attempt but there's going to be a foul against Pepperdine. Going to be on Max Lewis, one on him, first team foul against the Waves. And in fact, it is the, it's the second foul of the game so far and we have 14-32 remaining and the Waves up 17-9. As a team, the Eagles shoot 68% at the free throw line. They have struggled rebounding. They're a minus seven per game, but they come in, they've won two in a row. They have been off for nine days when they beat San Francisco State 84-66. They have started league play. Both free throws good by Rashid and 17 to 11. Right side, Malik Moore driving to the basket, missed it off the glass. Koulibaly gets the rebound to Lewis with a slam dunk. Nice pass by Koulibaly and a slam dunk by Lewis who has 10, 19 to 11 waves. For Cal State LA, this is an exhibition game. This will not count on their record, win or lose, but to knock off a D1 could make their season, give them the confidence to do well in their conference play. Outside, long three-pointer by Rashid. That's off the rim. And the rebound grab by Millette. Left side it goes to Malik Moore, dribble along the baseline. Out to Lewis, he'll launch another three. That rattles in and out. And the rebound grab by Alexander Sokol, who fumbles it. Ball rolls along the sidelines. And let's see uh, if uh, nice yeah. touch by Cal State LA, Pepperdine ball. And we take another oh, look. Koulibaly with a nice oh. pass. And Bindy Lewis moving well without the ball. The Golden Eagles in their black, gold, and white, located just outside, uh, just east, northeast of downtown Los Angeles with about oh, 25,000 students. Uh, into the game, Jaden uh, Lazo for the Eagles. Underneath, uh, Jan Zedek with the lay-in. 21-11 uh, to 11 Pepperdine, 13-19 to play. Now for Pepperdine, they need to maintain their focus again with all the experience that the Golden Eagles have. And Pepperdine being so young, Lazo dribbling and then sends it back outside to Bell. Bell fumbles it, will back it up. Top of the key, get a screen by Moore. Five on the shot clock, Moore will stop and shoot a three, rolls off the rim and Lewis with the rebound. Long pass down the court to Malik Moore. And the Golden Eagles get back in transition, and we have a foul. Going to be on Moore, number one on him. First team foul against the Golden Eagles, and all goes out of bounds to Pepperdine. Houston Millette will sit down. Millette having an outstanding season. He 
has hit a three-pointer in 36 consecutive games, at least one. And leads the team with 28 this year. We'll averaging 15 points a game. Top of the key to Malik Moore, 12.35 remaining in this first half. Waves up by 10. Koulibaly pivots. Ball on the baseline. Mike Mitchell Jr. knocks three. down the three. Mike Mitchell Jr. now with 28 threes made this year. The Waves have some top guns. They average 10 threes made per contest. On the baseline, Moore dribbled to the basket, reverse Peyton layup, Moore. and lay it in. Peyton Moore with six. 24-13, Golden Eagles trail. So between uh, Millette and Mitchell and Lewis, you've got some uh, excellent shooters, as is Javon Border at 6-11. Here's Lewis inside, scoop shot, and lay it in. Uh, Max Lewis with 12. Had a tough night at Grand Canyon on Saturday. Despite that, the Waves able to get that game in overtime. A long three by Moore missing, and Mike Mitchell Jr. with the rebound. Waves want to get out and run to Koulibaly. Slam it in. 28-13, Beverdine up by 15. So Lewis has 21 threes on the year. Millette with 28. Mitchell Jr. with 28. Porter has 11. A young team that really relies on their outside game, but they've been getting better inside play from Carson Basham. Long three-pointer by Bell. That's off the mark. They've got the rebound and the Golden Eagles. It's one and done. Kulabali again with a slam dunk. 30-13, Beverdine. So for them, no letdown. And Beverdine, who had to travel yesterday after playing in Phoenix on Saturday, not a lot of time to prepare for this game. Again, for Cal State Los Angeles, they can play it fast and loose and then knock off a D1 school. We get a foul. We get a foul on uh, John Cedek. We get a timeout. 10:50 to go. The Waves up 30-13. Watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Well, Pepperdine with their biggest lead of 17, uh, leading 30 to 13 with 10.50 to play in this first half on Crate shooting 13 of 17 to begin the game, 77% from the floor and four or five on threes. Uh, Raquel State LA, five of 13 from the field, 39% rebounding the ways with a big edge, 10 to two, uh, and the way is able to get inside time and time again. Uh, mentioned the ways really kind of work the perimeter excellent outside shooting team but getting much better play inside from Carson Basham and Bubakar Koulibaly. Basham is 6'10", the sophomore out of Phoenix, Arizona. And continues to play well. Ball comes in to Deuce Walker, a 6'2", junior from Riverside, in Riverside Community College. There's a Kawan candidate. Outside Sokol, his three-point shot is good. Alexander Sokol, 
hits the three. He is averaging 12 points a game. His 30th three-pointer of the year. He's a transfer from Cal State Northridge at 6'6", a senior from San Jose. 30-16, Golden Eagles trail. Playing out of the CCAA Top Division II Conference. Zedek loses the ball. The Waves third turnover. Coming down the floor is Kennedy inside, and Kennedy lays it up and in. Now cashing in on the turnover. And once again, the uh, Golden Eagles now down by 12, 38 team. Waves go inside. They certainly have a size advantage, but Pepperdine throws it away. At the other end, Sokol one more time. Three-pointer, no good, but he draws the foul. Going to be on Malik Moore, and that's going to put Sokol at the line, getting three shots. First on Moore, three team fouls against the Waves. See Lorenzo Romo along the sidelines in his fifth year, 26th season overall. Actually coached the Waves in 1996 through 1999. Then came back a second time 20 years later. 15 years, the head coach at Washington, free throw missing. Sokol on the year, 78%. Golden Eagles uh, pick 10th with Cal State San Bernardino number one. Cal State San Marcos second. Uh, Sokol misses another. Uh, Chico State pick third. Cal Poly Pomona fourth. And then Cal State Domingo Hills uh, pick fifth. You see the 6'6 senior, the transfer from Cal State Northridge. 12 a game, that free throw is good. Sokol has four. And the Golden Eagles on a 5-0-1 down 30 to 19. They get six straight points for the Golden Eagles. Lewis out to Millet left side. Pepperdine picks seventh in a strong West Coast Conference. You know all about Gonzaga. Picked up win the conference once again. Here's Lewis and Pepperdine, three straight turnovers. And the Golden Eagles will get the ball back once again. Uh, with Gonzaga picked to win the West Coast Conference, followed by St. Mary's, then San Francisco and Brigham Young, tied for third and fourth. Portland, number five, uh, 10 schools strong in the WCC, one of the top mid-major conferences in the country. Way stay in their man defense. All of a sudden, the Golden Eagles, with their, their defense, has got them back in the game, more down the lane. Right side, a three-point shot is off the mark by Kennedy, and the Flames get the ball. Millette in the front court, 6'5", sophomore, out of Alameda. Javon Border, one bounce dribble, 15-foot jumper, and Border. knocks it down. Javon Border, 32-19, Beverly. Javon Border's brother, Michael Porter, top player with the Denver Nuggets, and Javon at 6'11". There's more dribbling, and we're going to get a foul. Now Lewis, Lewis is second. Four team fouls against the Waves. And ball will go out of bounds. Uh, to the Golden Eagles. Of course, when you think of Cal State Los Angeles, the name that comes to mind, and none other, a playground legend, Raymond Lewis. If you've seen the documentary on him, one of the great players in the history of Southern California basketball way back in the early 1970s. He was a first-round pick of the 76ers, and driving is Deuce Walker to throw it up and in. His first points, 32 to 21, and all of a sudden, as Porter gets called for an offensive foul, the Waves a six turnover, five team fouls, and Porter picks up number one. The Waves led by as many as 17 a couple of minutes ago, but have uh, gotten a bit careless as they see Porter knocking down. A defender and Golden Eagles down by just 11 with 8.19 to play. So yeah, Raymond Lewis, first round selection of the 76ers back in 1972. But he was a phenom, one of the great players of all time. Gary Tarkanian says Raymond Lewis, the best player to ever seen at the time. Ways force a turnover, Carson Basham comes up with it. Three turnovers for the Golden Eagles, who average 14 a game, like Pepperdine. This figures to be somewhat of a high-scoring game. Both these teams want to get out and run. Golden Eagles average 70 a game. The Waves at 78. Inside the Basham, fumbles it triple-teamed and draws the foul. Three team fouls. 
Well, against the Golden Eagles, they get a timeout, 7.41 to play. Pepperdine by 11, 32-21. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Welcome back into Firestone Field House on the Pepperdine campus. A uh, youngster with his dad enjoying a, a nice day here in Southern California in the game here at Firestone Field House. We have about 200 on hand on this Monday afternoon. Hope everybody's going to have a great holiday season and looking forward to the new year. Waves up 32-21, 7.41 to go. Waves up at 14 of 18 shots, 78%. Millette in the corner. In pressure there by Jaden Lazo, the six foot sophomore from Richmond, California. Along the baseline, Porter. Take it out to Malik Moore, drive the basket, scoop shot, and lay it in. Malik Moore. Again, for Cal State LA, it's an exhibition for Pepperdine. This game will count on their record. And they're five and five, and have dropped three straight games, so much need of a win. Three point shot attempt by Walker doesn't go. The rebound grabbed by Kennedy, but the ball goes out of bounds, and the Golden Eagles with their fourth turnover. Rebounding 11 to two Pepperdine. As Sokol comes back in. Waves have not gotten to the free throw line. Cal State LA three of five. Waves have made four of five threes, so you would think they'd be up maybe by more, up by 13. Basham inside, lays it up off the glass and scores easily. Basham with four, and it's 36 to 21. Pepperdine, 6:45 remaining. Coming outside the waves in a man-to-man -man defense, the Golden Eagles, eight of 17 from the field, 47 percent. Outside Shane Bell down the lane, Sokol stop in the lane. Nice defense by Porter. That's 6-11. Ball comes back outside Sokol's three-point shot doesn't go, but he is fouled and will shoot three more. Going to be on border, second, second on him, and the Waves' 16 foul, Sokol and Alexander Sokol will be at the line. Last year, he averaged 15 points a game at 68 threes, and he has 30 this year. Honorable mention, all CCAA last season, and averaging 12 points a game this year, and he makes the free throw. He has five points in the game. Number nine, led by Max Lewis with 12. Free throw good by Sokol now with six. 6.26 to play. And Peyton Moore comes back in for the Golden Eagles. I mentioned how tough the West Coast Conference is and the league stronger than ever. Like Gonzaga, San Francisco playing well. Santa Clara off to a great start. So is Loyola Marymount, Portland. Waves are picked seventh in the 10-team conference. By Mike Mitchell, Jr. 36-24, Sokol, who got three free throws and draws the Golden Eagles to within 12, 6-12 remaining. Mike Mitchell Jr. left side, the sophomore, and gets called for traveling. And the Waves' seventh turnover. Good defense by the Golden Eagles. 
Jim Sia in his seventh year, former assistant at UCLA from 97 through 2002 under Steve Lavin, assistant at USC 2004-2005. He was the interim head coach when Henry Bibby stepped down. Oh, nice move by Moore, but coming over to defend his quarter and the way he defended well and get the ball back. Nice defensive help by the 6-11 border. Underneath the Porter, fakes and hit hard in foul. And helped up by Sokol, and Porter will shoot. Going to be on Sokol, number one on him. Four team fouls. And Javon Porter will be at the line shooting. Having 10 points and seven rebounds a game. He threw out bounces off. He's 64% at the line. Four-star recruit out of Columbia, Missouri. And his brother Michael playing with the Denver Nuggets. And a free throw good by Porter. He has six, and the wave's up 37-24 with 5.40 to play. So in the front court, this is Sokol. Right at Cal State Northridge was a reserve. Shane Bell left side. Bell, 6'3", sophomore from Hercules, California. Sokol outside, three-pointer, and he knocks it down. Alexander Sokol, he has 10 points in the game, and it's a 10-point contest with 5.15 to play. I'm talking about Jim Sia, who graduated in 1986. An outside jumper by Mike Mitchell, Jr., no good. Walker with the rebound and for Jim Sia. Played at Chapman along with Cal Poly SLO. A couple years each. Bell outside and he hits the three. And Pepperdine wants a timeout. They mentioned Pepperdine shooting so well, but they had not built up a really big lead. And then the turnovers and all of a sudden, the Golden Eagles have gotten back in the game. Bell in the game has eight. It's a seven point contest. Waves have left by as many as 17. Oh, about four or five minutes ago, it's 37 to 30, Pepperdine with 4.54 remaining. For the Golden Eagles, after this game, they'll play again on Sunday, January 1st. Uh, they're going to be off another 11 days. They'll play at Cal State San Marcos in conference play. And they are 3-2 and two in league. Pepperdine will open up conference play on December 31st. New Year's Eve day when they play at Spokane to take on Gonzaga, a top-ranked team. Uh, Jim Syop, again, a former interim head coach for one year at USC in 2005. Also been the head coach at San Marcos. Uh, he started, actually started the men's basketball program at Cal State San Marcos. Also assistant at Fresno State and Cal. Brings a wealth of experience on his staff as former Pepperdine Wave, Will Kimball. Played with the Waves in the early 2000s. And Will, a 6'11 center. Played with Pepperdine for a couple years and went to Texas El Paso. It's great to see the, the assistant coach and Will Kimball. Outside, Matt Lewis. Three-pointer by Lewis. He has 15, and it's 40-30, Pepperdine up. This is Sokol. This is the Shane Bell. 420 to play at halftime. We'll visit with Pepperdine head coach Lorenzo Romar. Interview we taped earlier today. We'll have some highlights, first half stats, and we'll get you ready for the second half. Waves defending well, seven on the shot clock. Right side Walker. Bad pass throws it away. Five turnovers for the Golden Eagles. Millette in the front court. Millette has not scored. Right side Mitchell's three-pointer is good. Mike Mitchell Jr., he has six. His second threes, you see Jim Sia along the sidelines. Uh, Renzo Romar, over 450 career wins. Uh, Three-time Pac-12 Conference Coach of the Year at the University of Washington, where he coached for 15 seasons. And Sokol, one more time, hits the three. He has 13 in the game, and it's 43-33. to 33. Pepperdine out in front. Gulabali along the baseline. Man defense by the Golden Eagles, even so they're a bit undersized. Dribbling, Lewis, he gets it back. Goes to Millette, three-point shot three. is good. Here's to Millette with the three. It's 46 to 33 for Houston Millette, 37 consecutive games. He's hit at least one or more three-pointers. 
It breaks the record by Terrence Johnson of 32 back in uh, the early 2000s. We get a timeout, 3.06 left. The wave's up, 46-33. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Uh, Pepperdine 46, Cal State Los Angeles 33, with 306 remaining before halftime. Pepperdine is shooting 79% from the floor, 19 of 24. They have made seven of eight three pointers for 88%. And for Cal State Los Angeles, 11 of 22 from the field, 50%, five of 13 beyond the arc, and 39%. And for the Golden Eagles, they average about six threes made per game. As we mentioned, Pepperdine, about 10 threes made per contest. Golden Eagles ball, Shane Bell right side. Out to Moore, top of the key. Three-point shot, bounces off the rim. Rebound, nice play by Rasheed, but then throws it away. Six turnovers for Cal State LA. Into the corner, Zedek, his three-point shot. And he knocks it down. Beyond Zedek with the three. He has seven, and the way's up 49 to 33. Continue to shoot like this. It makes everything else look really good. And sooner or later, the waves will cool off. Here's Sokol once again. Bank shot off the glass. Doesn't go, and the rebound by Millet. Lewis has 15 to lead Pepperdine. Sokol with 13, topping the Golden Eagles. Goes inside to Z-Deck, double teamed. Down low is Koulibaly, one bounce dribble, puts it up, shot no good, but draws the foul. And it will be on the one Kennedy. Now Kennedy picks up the foul, one on him. As you see, Koulibaly with a fake, and then how much else Kennedy can do it? 6 4, Koulibaly 6 11. It is high school ball in the San Gabriel Valley. Quickly from Molly. Two years at USC. They throw good. Waves have led by as many as 17, and they matched that with 201 to play. And Koulibaly with seven points in the contest. 50-33 Pepperdine. As a team, the Waves hit 70% at the free throw line. Next one, that's good. And the Waves with their biggest lead, 51 to 33. And Pepperdine on a 7 0 1, 13 to 3 over the last two and a half minutes. So they have bounced back nicely and made their last four field goals. 1.49 remaining. Bell into the corner to Kennedy with the dribble. Stop at the free throw line. Here it goes to Rashid. Back to Kennedy. A uh, nice movement without the ball. Moore gets it and slams it in. Peyton Moore with eight. 51 to 35. And you just get the feeling the Golden Eagles are going to be much better in the conference than people think. And, and being picked 10th at the preseason ball, I don't think they're going to move up in the standings this year. Offensive foul against Malik Moore. Second on him as we 
a Rashid Kennedy, and then finding the open man, moving well without the ball, Moore. That's Peyton Moore. Pepperdine's Malik Moore picks up his second. And the Waves, 17 foul player control, so no free throw. 51-35, Pepperdine. Out in front, this is Kennedy. Shane Bell, both teams do a good job. Ball movement up. Back out to Rashid. They are under a minute left. Four on the shot clock. Bell with two in the corner to Peyton Moore. Throws it up as the shot clock buzzer sounds and the Waves get the rebound. 45 seconds to play. Mike Mitchell outside three-pointer. Hits high off the back of the rim and Bell gets the rebound. Waves up 51-35. And we thought this would be a high-scoring game. This is Sokol dribbling down the lane. Drop it off the bell on the baseline. Misses the shot. Shot clock turned off. 27 seconds to play. Mullet. As the Golden Eagles get back in transition, Pepperdine will work for the final shot of the first half. This is Mullet dribbling. 15 seconds to go. Well, Pepperdine will take a nice lead into the locker room at halftime. Eight on the shot clock. Mike Mitchell, Jr., Throws it in the corner to Millette with three. Millette dribbling and then foul. Going to be on Caden Rashid. Make it Sokol who picks up his second. 16 fouls, so the Golden Eagles had one to give away. Three seconds to play, and Mike Mitchell Jr. will bring it in. Waves with time, Koulibaly back to Mitchell with one, and then the ball partially blocked, and time runs out. Nice play by Kennedy, and both teams go into the locker room with Pepperdine with a 51-35 to lead over Cal State Los Angeles. And this non-conference game. We'll come back with our halftime show. The Waves up 51-35. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Well, Coach, welcome back to uh, Firestone Fieldhouse. The Waves get ready to take on Cal State Los Angeles. Uh, a tough game on Saturday night. Quick turnaround for today's game. What did you take away from that contest uh, against the Antelopes? Hard-fought game. Uh, you were down by 12, led at halftime in the first half, led by 12 in the second half, got the game to overtime. But quite a contest and quite an atmosphere. What I took away was that it's, it's in some ways it's simple, but in other ways it's difficult. Our team is 
playing better basketball and we're going longer stretches mm -hmm. where we're playing good enough basketball where we can go out and compete out there on the floor mm -hmm. and win games. The thing that makes it tough is evidenced by two overtime back-to-back -back losses, we're still not there yet. And But it's so close. It's yeah. so close. You know, we have every opportunity to win these games and we're just not closing the deal. And uh, there's there's still promise to me in that we're, we're still in the preseason and our guys are making strides and, as I said, playing good basketball for longer stretches. Talk about the performances. Uh, number one, of course, in Basham playing at home uh, with family and friends in attendance. And then, of course, on the other side, Max Lewis, who had a tough time. Uh, great players sometimes do have off nights. Well, you know, first of all, with Carson, our last two out of three games, he's played really good basketball. And, He's, uh, he's in the best shape of his life. Uh, he shed some pounds. He's uh, playing with a lot of confidence. And uh, we've talked before, he has a high basketball IQ. So he goes out there and he's doing a good job for us. Uh, the great ones, the best ones, they have off nights. Maxwell had an off night. It was just one of those nights where he just wasn't in, in, in the kind of rhythm that he's been in in the past. And again, with the great ones, it doesn't last very long. So I imagine he will bounce back pretty good. Uh, today it is uh, Cal State in Los Angeles. When you think of the Golden Eagles, one name comes up, of course, Raymond Lewis, uh, a Southland legend. And I hope we won't see the ghost of Raymond Lewis on uh, uh, this Monday. But, but what about the Golden Eagles? This is a team. It's an exhibition for them. They've got good size and a lot of experience. What do you expect from them? Well, you know, they have six Division One transfers. So they don't have guys that they just got off the street to come play a game. You know, they're going to be very competitive, and they have some good individual talent. They really share the ball. In their offense, they have a great movement, great spacing, and they're going to really challenge our basic defensive principles. All right, Coach, we appreciate the visit. Uh, best of luck today. Let's see if the Waves can get back on the winning track. Thanks again. Thank you, Al. All right, we'll come back with more. Stay with us. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Nobody said it was easy. That's why you shoot 1,000 three-pointers, make 300, study all night, then shoot 1,000 more. Get straight A's. Keep practicing. Be a good friend. Push through it. Make the playoffs. Graduate from Lava. University Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the West Coast Conference. From earning interest to getting a loan, our rates beat the competition because we believe your bank should work as hard as you do. You know, I'm trying to change the game. I'm
born and raised in LA. In so many different cultures, everyone has a word for kind of the cool uncle. You know, I'm everybody's uncle and I'm gonna treat you like family at my firm. Insurance companies, defense counsel, all these guys, they don't care about you. They wanna get out of having to pay you a dollar. I'm here for the people. You don't wanna ever go into a fight where the other side has a lawyer and you don't. All I wanna do is be the LA lawyer go to and I'm here for everybody. Family values, reputation, community. These aren't just buzzwords at Rusnak. We've earned our stars. In fact, our customers give us an average rating of 4.8 online. That's one reason people continue to choose Rusnak BMW. And if you're tired of hearing no cars here, we have new cars arriving weekly, including the X5. So if you're ready to start hearing, yeah, we have that. Click or call us. Rusnak, it's that easy. At halftime, Pepperdine with a 51 to 35 lead uh, over Cal State Los Angeles. I'm Al Epstein. Glad you could be with us. And now time for our precision play of the game brought to you by Rusneck BMW. See Malik Moore off the glass. Koulibaly with the rebound finds an open. Max Lewis with the slam dunk. And good ball movement by Pepperdine and Koulibaly. And Max Lewis with the slam. And Pepperdine with a 16-point lead at the break and that our precision play of the game brought to you by Rusnak BMW. We'll come back with more. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Life is uncertain. Everyday pressures can feel overwhelming. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. It's normal. With CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources, it's easy to get the help you and your loved ones need when you need it the most. Call our warm line at 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. At halftime, Pepperdine with a 51 to 35 lead over Cal State Los Angeles. I'm Al Epstein, credit of about 200 on hand for this one. As we take a look at some of the highlights being brought to you by University Credit Union. Max Lewis leading Pepperdine with 15 points in the first half. He averages just under 18. A four-star recruit out of Las Vegas, a 6'7 sophomore. And then there is Bubakar Koulibaly with a slam dunk. Waves able to control the pain to outscoring Cal State Los Angeles 22 to 14. And the fact that the Waves have hit 74% from the field 
20 of 27 and 8 of 11 threes, 73 percent. And again, the way's biggest lead has been 18 points. For Cal State LA, they're shooting 44 percent, 12 of 27 from the field. Rebounds the ways with a big edge, 15 to 6. Turnovers, 8 to 6, but the Golden Eagles unable to really capitalize. Only five points from the Waves, eight turnovers. Pepperdine getting 14 off Cal State LA's six turnovers. Halftime, 51 to 35. Pepperdine will come back with more. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf. That's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. with a 51 to 35 lead as we get ready for the second half for Pepperdine and Cal State Los Angeles. They are meeting for the first time since November of 1982 here in Malibu when Pepperdine won it 89 to 70. As you see the leaders for both teams, Alexander Sokol, three of three on threes, 13 points, and made more with eight. Pepperdine led by Max Lewis, 15, and Bubakar Kulabali with eight points off the bench. But for the Golden Eagles uh, and Pepperdine, a series that dates back to 1949, a long time ago, and Cal State Los Angeles actually leads the series 12 to 11. But again, these teams haven't met in 40 years as you see the crowd on a nice day here on monday in southern california a couple days away from christmas about 64 degrees outside a lot of sunshine blue skies as the waves will come back out with lewis basham and border up front and the guards of millette and mitchell jr and for cal state los angeles you see alexander sokol along with shane bell Jared Perry will be at the center, Peyton Moore, one of the guards, and uh, Caden Rashid, another guard. Waves, who have a lot of size, but they are young. They start four sophomores and a freshman. They have five players, six, nine, or taller, and certainly a size advantage, and they've out-rebounded Cal State LA 15 to six to go along with that great shooting of 74%. Waves can get anything close to that. They should get themselves a good win as Millett saves along the baseline, tipped out of bounds by Perry. Our officials for tonight's game, Mike Cyphers, Klaus Andrusat, and Michael Mojica. Got about 200 on hand at the dine. Capacity about 3,100. They're looking to build a new event center that will seat 4,000, a little bit north of here, just outside the soccer stadium. Be a multi-purpose uh, building and we'll see it about 4,000. Millette, the lob to Basham lays it in. Nice pass by Millette and Basham in the game now with six. Waves with their time, their biggest lead of 18, 53-35, we're just underway. According to the local papers, Pepperdine came into this game as a 14 point favorite. This is Sokol with the dribble. Had Perry open for a moment. Peyton Moore on the baseline, dribbling. It goes inside to Perry, turn, shot over. Basham cannot connect, and Basham defended well with good position. Golden Eagles uh, getting back on defense, but not in time, and Millett gets the lane for his fifth point. And the Waves up 55 to 35. Golden Eagles already in conference play where they are three and two. We're in the middle of the pack. And Cal State San Bernardino, the prohibitive favorite to win the CCAA. And Cal State LA, a Division II school, as Moore misses, but Perry gets the rebound. Sokol with the dribble, knocks down Millette, and we're going to get offensive foul. Millette takes the charge. And for Sokol, his third turnover, seven turnovers for the Golden Eagles. And first here in the second half. And Pepperdine will get the ball back. Look at Millette getting position and Sokol lowering that left shoulder. 
Not sure Millette had position, but it just looked like Sokol was leaning into Millette. So Basham looks inside, fumbled by Porter, gets it back. That's to Lewis down the lane. Kick it outside to Mitchell. Three-point shot is off the mark. Ball tipped out of bounds. And last touch by Cal State LA. 17.58 to play. Actually, they reverse it. It will go to Cal State Los Angeles. For Cal State LA, six and five on a year. They are only playing their third road game. And this is their 12th game of the season. They're five and four at home, just one and one on the road. So a good bit of scheduling by Jim Sion, his seventh season with the Golden Eagles. Pepperdine, five and two at home this year, 0 oh and three on the road, dropped three in a row. This game does count for Pepperdine, an exhibition for Cal State LA, so they can play it fast and loose. Sokol, one bounce dribble, three point shot, hits the back of the rim. Mike Mitchell Jr. out of the backcourt. 17 and a half to go, Basham inside, lay it in. Carson Basham getting good position, and now with eight, he averages seven points and four rebounds a game. Lewis knocking it out of bounds, and the Golden Eagles in their black, gold, and white will have possession. It will be Peyton Moore to bring it in. Moore transfer from the University of Denver. 12 schools in the CCAA. In the West Coast Conference, they're going to lose Brigham Young on July 1st, 2023. They're going to the Big 12, leaving the WCC with just nine schools. Harry throws it up and in. His first points of the game, and not a big score, only averages five points and four rebounds a game, but a 6-9 does give uh, the Golden Eagles a presence down low. Here's Lewis, a long three-pointer. That hits the back of the board. And here comes uh, Cal State LA. Shane Bell down the lane. Scoop shot. Great effort. The ball rolls off. And Porter gets it for Pepperdine. That's a Mike Mitchell Jr. Underneath the Porter. Ball tipped. Lewis had it. And we're going to get a foul. It's going to be on Max Lewis, his third. We'll check it. They call it on Perry. Well, Perry picks up the foul. First on him. Second team foul. Both players going for the ball, and the Waves draw the foul, and they'll bring it in. 20 on the shot clock. 16.38 to go in the game clock. Waves up by 20. 57-37. As low as a turnover by Pepperdine. Nine in the game. Driving Bell. Laid up and in. Shane Bell has 10 points in the game. He's been in the program. 6'3 sophomore out of Hercules, California. With the Salesian College Prep... He's a nice player for the Golden Eagles who are playing without their top scorer, Dominique Escobar, who's averaging 16 points a game, a 6'4 sophomore guard. Lewis along the baseline has 17. Also, Adris Jackson, a 6'9 senior, transfer from Dartmouth College. He's also been out for a number of weeks. And yet, the Golden Eagles have won two in a row. They get three and two in conference. Here's Perry again, throws Perry, it up and in. Jared Perry with four. It's 59 to 41, Beverdine. On court to Millette. Dribbling out to Mike Mitchell, top of the key. Three point shot will not go. Rebound taken by Porter. This is Mitchell down the lane. A short shot attempt comes up, hits the rim, and we get a foul in the backcourt. They're called a foul on Mike Mitchell Jr. First time him, first team foul, we get a timeout, 15-29 to go, 59-41 Pepperdine. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network.
Welcome back into Firestone Field, Dallas and the Pepperdine campus in Malibu. I'm Al Epstein as the Waves have a 59 to 41 lead. Waves have led by as many as 22, and we have 15, 29 to go in this second half. For Cal State LA, they've already played a couple of Division I schools and were very competitive. They had exhibitions against Cal Poly SLO, lost that 72-60, and San Jose State, and lost that 69-60. And now they take on Pepperdine and driving is Perry and he's hit him foul. A nice backdoor feed, uh, Jared Perry. Gonna be on Basham. One on him, second team foul against the Waves. So the Golden Eagles well tested. And if your head coach Jim Sion is seven deer, you hope your team uh, gets great competition and your team will get a little bit better. Free throw, no good by Perry. Waves at five and five on the season, coached by Lorenzo Romar in his fifth year. One more for Perry. That one hits the back of the rim. Basham with another rebound. Basham with eight points, six rebounds in the game, a couple of blocks. Then topping the West Coast Conference, the 6'10 sophomore. Where's number 11 for the Waves? Waves go inside to Porter, who lays it up and in. It's going to count his foul. Javon Borders, the Waves continue to go inside. It's going to be on Shane Bell. Second on him, three team fouls against the Golden Eagles. And the Waves up 61-41. And Porter now with nine points as he makes the free throw. Just under 15 minutes to go. For the Waves after today and another quick turnaround, they will head to Hawaii in Honolulu for the Diamond Head Classic. Uh, that begins on the 22nd on Thursday. Long three-point shot attempt off the mark by Peyton Moore. Waves with the rebound. In the front court, Millet. Waves will open up on Thursday night uh, against the home team, University of Hawaii. Eight schools, it's a strong tournament led by Utah State, Washington State, George Washington. Here's Malik Moore driving and puts it up and in. Uh, uh, Malik Moore with the land. Waves will play on the 22nd, 23rd, depending what they do against the University of Hawaii, the home team, and certainly probably the tournament favorite. It's the 13th annual Diamond Head Classic. Waves, win or lose, will play the George Washington or Washington State. Outside, Sokol's three doesn't go, but Perry runs it down. Back to Rashid, his three-pointer doesn't go. Thrown up by Peyton Moore, and that misses. Whatever by Peyton Moore. And Pepperdine in the front court. Waves again will play on the 22nd and 23rd as Lewis puts up a three. And Max Lewis with 20 in the game. And a top NBA prospect wearing number four for the Waves. Lewis, four of six on threes today. Outside a three-pointer, and that's good by Shane Bell. Yes, 13 on the game. It's 67-44 Pepperdine, and Bell averages 13 points a contest. That's a nice-looking player. I mean, Cal State has got some talent on this team. Lewis dribbles and travels and turns it over. Uh, 10 turnovers for the Waves. 13-20 remaining, 67-44 Pepperdine. They have led throughout this game. Biggest lead of 23 here in the second half. As you see Malik Moore, 6'5", freshman from Bandura. Ladies will also play on Christmas Day, the 25th. Uh, a lot of basketball. Here's Sokol outside, three-point attempt, hits the rim, and Zedek with the rebound. Now for Pepperdine, they're going to be in Hawaii for almost a week in 80-degree weather, and then they have to go to Spokane to play Gonzaga in the 31st in 10 degree weather. So they're going to go from the warmth and sunshine of Hawaii, three point missing by Malik Moore, to the snow and cold of Spokane, Washington in December, early January. The waves, next four games on the road, ball thrown away by Perry. Eight turnovers by the Golden Eagles, 12 35 left. This is Lewis again with a jumper, too long. And the rebound grabbed by Kennedy. Right side, Deuce Walker. Back out to Lazo. Back to Walker. Waves get back in transition. Long three by Sokol, and he hits it again. Alexander Sokol. He has 16 in the game. It's 67 to 47. 
He had 68 threes last year. I don't want to mention all-conference player. Line right number 12 for Cal State Los Angeles set. Well, another big game. 16 points came in averaging 12. And already with four threes today, now with 33. Seven on the shot clock. Zedek on the baseline. Plays good ball movement. Two on the shot clock. Malik Moore's jumper no good. Offensive foul. Against Malik Moore, that is his third. Waves third team foul. We get a timeout. 11.47 to play in the second half. Waves up by 20, 67-47. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Uh, the waves up 67 to 47, 1147 remaining in the second half. It's now time for our smart play of the game, presented by Ticket Smarter. As you take a look, Houston Millet with a nice drop off pass to Carson Batcham with an easy land. The waves can again continue to move the ball extremely well. And Millet with a perfect pass to Basham, who able to score. Basham today with eight points. And that our smart play of the game presented by Ticket Smarter, the best place to find tickets to the hottest sports, concerts, and live events near you. Visit TicketSmarter.com or download the app. Secure your tickets now. Uh, the Waves 67-47. Uh, They've led by as many as 26. Pepperdine shooting 68% from the field, 27 to 40. The Golden Eagles 17 to 42, 41% from the floor. Peyton Moore down the lane. Another good looking player against six Division I players on this Golden Eagles team. And they're six and five on the season. This is Kennedy with seven on the shot clock. Peyton Moore shot blocked by Koulibaly and taken by Malik Moore. Wave defense, very good. Uh, Moore top of the key, right side to Lewis. One bounce dribble, had an open look, trying to find Koulibaly, who finally gets it back and then draws the foul. Going to be on Deuce Walker. Walker's first. Four team fouls, uh, and that'll send Koulibaly at the line. Getting a couple of shots. Koulibaly this year, 50%, averaging six points, five rebounds a game. Uh, one of the top shot blockers. Uh, one of the best in the West Coast Conference. Free throw a little bit too long. Uh, for Waves, uh, going to Hawaii. And take Koulibaly drawing the foul. Getting the good ball movement by Pepperdine, setting that up. Free throw by Koulibaly, he knocks this one down. He has nine points in the game. To go along with a block shot and a rebound, and the way's up 68-47. Looking to go to six and five. This game counts for Pepperdine. Long shot there by Lazo. Missing ways with another rebound. 10.49 to play. Zedek out in front. Three-pointer is good. Jan Zedek straight away. He is an excellent outside shooter at 6-9. And the wave's up 71 to 47. Baton Moore driving, puts it up, this shot no good. For Jan Zedek last year at 37 threes, an average 13 points a game. Shot missing there, and the rebound grabbed by Cal State Los Angeles. 
who will continue league play on Sunday, January 1st at Cal State San Marcos, and Deuce Walker driving and gets the land. 71 to 49. For Cal State Los Angeles, uh, they got to contend with Cal State San Bernardino. They're kind of like the Gonzaga of the CCAA. Koulibaly inside missed it, tries to get it back, and the Golden Eagles come up with that. On the floor, Lazo, waves get back in transition. This is Kennedy to Sokol. Outside, Peyton Moore on the right wing, long three-pointer hits the rim. Koulibaly with the rebound. The Waves looking to go six and two at home uh, before heading back on the road. Uh, this is Lewis again in Hawaii leaving tomorrow. They just came back from Phoenix yesterday. This quick turnaround had a tough overtime loss at Grand Canyon on Saturday. Jumper by Ma uh, Malik Moore, no good. Lewis gets the rebound, tries to put it up, and we get a whistle. And play is stopped, and Malik Moore comes up limping and will make sure he's okay. Uh, He's going to walk off to the sidelines and may have to sit down. He may have, I'm not sure, turned an ankle. You see Jim Sion, the seventh year, former assistant at UCLA under Steve Lavin, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, Malik Moore, they'll check him out. Waves will go to the bench. Mike Mitchell Jr. comes back. And Malik Moore holding that right ankle. Make sure he's okay. The one thing the Waves do not need is an injury. And Cal State Alewa, without a couple of key players, Dominic Escobar, their leading scorer at 16 a game. 6'4", sophomore guard. Missing there. It is uh, Deuce Walker, and the Waves again control the board. 71-49. to Pepperdine leading Lewis outside. Three-pointer bounces off. Got as many as 15 NBA scouts in attendance here at the Dine they will really check out Max Lewis, 15. Outside, three-point attempt there by putting the shot up as Kennedy. That doesn't go, 8.34 to play. 71-49, uh, inside, Koulibaly hit him foul as he missed the dunk. Uh, that'll be on Deuce Walker, two on him, five team fouls. Uh, Koulibaly at the line getting two shots. Uh, for Pepperdine, and you see the foul coming over Shane Bell also. So for Pepperdine, uh, 12 conference titles, uh, 13 NCAA appearances. Uh, Waves well, did win the CBI, CBI tournament back in 2021. Uh, great player in Kessler Edwards, now playing with the Brooklyn Nets. And, Kobe Ross, a sensational guard, now playing professionally in Italy. He was looking to get back to postseason play. Free throw rolls off. Lewis tips and controls. Lewis inside, lay it in. Max Lewis with 22. And the Waves up 73 to 49. And 8-18 to play. Now special thanks to our entire game on entertainment crew directing today, Jonah Barony, and producing... Kristen Elizondo, executive producer Willie Rodriguez and Archie Corasani. Shane Bell shot no good. And special thanks to the Pepperdine Athletics Communications Department and School of Bali slams it in. He has 11. Thanks to Morgan Davenport, to Sarah Ottoman, Madison Parham, who do such a great job as a turnover for the Golden Eagles, their ninth. All the way, and missing the lane is Millette. Zedek tips, but cannot get it in. And Lazo gets it. The Deuce Walker down the lane, driving, throws it up and in. It's going to count his foul. Deuce Walker. Foul's going to be on Koulibaly. We get a timeout, 7.32 to go. Pepperdine leading 75 to 51. Play resumes. Deuce Walker will be at the free throw line. we are watching Wavecast on the WCC Network.
Pepperdine leading 75 to 51 over Cal State Los Angeles on a nice day along the coast uh, on a Monday afternoon as you see Deuce Walker throwing it up and in and he was fouled and will be at the free throw line. 7.32 to play. So for Cal State LA, their first seven games were at home and again, just their third road game of the season. Of course, the Waves only played three road games, but they'll be on the road the next four. Walker completes the three-point play at seven in the game. Pepperdine shooting 60% for the game. They have 26 assists on 30 made baskets. That's incredible. And for Cal State LA, they've got 14 assists on 19 made baskets, but they're only hitting 37% from the field. Waves have made 10 of 18 threes, 57% and led by Max Lewis with 22 points. Waves go inside to Lewis with two on the shot clock. The Waves throw it away. Pepperdine's a, a 12th turnover and Shane Bell trying to save it. But Kenan Pepperdine will get it back. Waves with 12 turnovers for Cal State LA. They're 11th. See Jim Sy along the sidelines. Looks under Steve Lavin, Henry Bibby at USC. Head coach of Cal State, Sam Marcos, actually started their men's basketball program back in 2010. Waves another offensive foul. See Jim Sia. Just near Fresno State, Cal, back in the late 80s, uh, over 30 years' experience. Uh, waves a turnover. That's 13, 644 to play. This is Lazo with the dribble. He'll throw it up. His shot rolls off. Ball tip. Mike Mitchell Jr. Runs it down. Number nine, 11 for Kubakar Kulabali, 10 for Jan Zedek off the bench. Gonna get a foul, gonna be on Perry. Perry's second, 16 fouls against the Golden Eagles. Well, Pepper Diamond opens up conference play against Gonzaga on the 31st. Uh, a lot of traveling uh, in Hawaii, they leave tomorrow. Play on Thursday night, the last game of the tournament uh, against Hawaii. They'll have a big crowd. Get an offensive foul against Pepperdine. It'll be on Lewis. That's number three on him. 16 fouls, but the Waves another turnover. One thing that Coach Romar talks about, taking care of the basketball. Value of possession. Had so many close games this year. He just finished back-to-back -back overtime losses in Santa Barbara and Grand Canyon. Lost a tough game against Nevada. All three games, Pepperdine could have won, but the turnovers added up and were costly. Missed shot by Shane Bell. 75-52 Pepperdine. It will go to six and five. Lewis saves the errant pass. Oh, nice steal by Lazo. Waves with a turnover. 15, Sokol outside, three-pointer way off. And Pepperdine with it. This is Mike Mitchell Jr. pushing Ball down the floor, Lewis in the air, throws it up and in. 24 for Max Lewis. He's had as many as 30 this year. He's the Waves leading scorer, just under 18 a game. A great outside range, athletic and long. And there is Walker with a three-pointer. And he has 10, and the Waves up 77 to 55. 520 to play, Perry defending. And saved there by Walker on the baseline. I mean, down the court, Sokol. We figured this would be a rather high-scoring game. Again, the Golden Eagles average 70 a game. The Waves at 78. Three-point shot goes in by Sokol, and he draws the foul. With a chance to get a four-point play. Tom Porter, second on him, and five team fouls. Jalen Petrie comes in for the Waves, a 6A freshman from Long Beach. Again, the Waves are really young. Uh, nice shot by Sokol. Now with 19 in the game, he continues to knock down threes. Uh, transfer from Cal State Northridge, makes the free throw, four-point play, 20 points for Alexander Sokol. It's 77-59. Pepperdine Sokol will come, come out of the game. And Jim Sia, one of his assistants, former Pepperdine Wave, Will Kimball, played back in the early 2000s, played a couple of years with the Waves, a 6'11 center. Outstanding youngster, doing a nice job with the Golden Eagles. 
In the corner, Javon Border, three-point shot is long. And the rebound grab taken by Peyton Moore. 440 to play. We hope everybody has a great holiday season looking to the new year. Perry missing the dunk but draws the foul. Gonna be on Javon Border. Fourth on him and 16 fouls against the Waves. Uh, Pepperdine in that game against Grand Canyon as you take another look uh, at three players foul out. Well, what an atmosphere at Grand Canyon. 7,000, the energy, the excitement, the light show, almost like a Broadway production. And yet the Waves got it into overtime. Uh, he built up a 12-point lead in the second half and, and the foul trouble and made some key turnovers and Grand Canyon ended up winning the overtime waves, probably went out and ran out of gas. Pepperdine only usually goes about eight deep and I guess one of the concerns, how is Malik Moore? And the waves of Max Lewis driving, throws it out to Mike Mitchell Jr. He's open. Three-point shot is good. Mike Mitchell Jr. is third three-pointer. He has 30 on the season, nine points in the game, and it's 80-61. Pepperdine with the lead. Driving Walker. Goes it back outside. This is Caden uh, Rashid in the corner. Three-point shot is good again. And Deuce Walker, he got 13, 11 in the second half. 80-64 waves. They go inside to Millette, and we're going to get an offensive foul, maybe stepping out of bounds. Uh, was Houston Millette. We get a timeout, 3.56 to play. 80-64 Pepperdine. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Well, the Waves have the lead, 80-64 over Cal State Los Angeles, 7, 356 to play. As you see the Waves in Hawaii, they leave tomorrow afternoon. We'll play Thursday against the University of Hawaii, and then they go all the way to the snow and gold, about 10 degrees against Gonzaga to begin conference play, then come home against Santa Clara and Pacific. Two very good teams. Santa Clara's having an outstanding season. Uh, the Waves will be busy in the next several weeks, but on the road, the next four games. 80-64, uh, and that being brought to you by Rusnak BMW, our schedule for the upcoming games for Pepperdine. 3.49 to go. For Cal State Light, it's an exhibition game, so it won't count on their record. For the Waves, uh, they will go to six and five, six and two at home, break a three-game losing streak, a chance to pad their stats as Lewis misses the three. Petrie gets it, lays it up and in. Uh, Petrie, going to be a good player. 6'8", 220. And in some minutes, 82-64. Uh, Waves have led by as many as 26. At halftime, it was 51-35. to Pepperdine, outside a jumper, rolls off by Rashid. Uh, the transfer from UC San Diego, who played for four years. Only averaging four points a game. Down low it goes. Porter puts it up and in. It's going to count and foul. Javon Porter with 11. Foul number 15, 
Well, Lazo, first on him, 17 fouls, and Porter trying to complete the three-point play. 6'11", a unique player. He can hit the three-pointer, but he can take you off the dribble like a 6'2 guard. And you see Javon having 10.7 rebounds a game, missed the free throw. Perry gets the rebound. Waves up by 20, just under three minutes left. Again, those games in Hawaii will have audio wavecasts only. And the opening game against the University of Hawaii will be at 8 p.m. on the West Coast as Lewis with a steal, then draws the foul. The be on Rashid, second on him. And the bonus in effect, and so Lewis will go down and shoot one and one. So 8 p.m. on the West Coast, 6 p.m. Honolulu time on Thursday the 22nd. Number nine, the University of Hawaii, opening round of the 13th annual Diamond Head Classic. And Utah State, a strong team. Ways will play the winner or loser, either George Washington or Washington State. Iona's in that tournament. A strong field, eight schools. Free throw good by Lewis. He has 25 in the game. They're shooting 59% for the game. They have 28 assists on 32 made baskets. Goes for one more. That one is good. He has 26 in the contest. So Lewis will come out. A great performance by the sophomore. He had four rebounds, five assists, two steals, and a block. And 26 points. Uh, 10 of 15 from the floor. He shoots about 60% on the season on top of everything else. Two and a half to go. 86-64 Pepperdine. A much needed win for this young Pepperdine squad. Back outside. Kennedy's long range jumper is, hits the back of the rim. Mike Mitchell ahead to Petrie and lays it up and in. It counts his foul. A uh, great pass by Mike Mitchell Jr who was third in the West Coast Conference last year, just under five assists a game. There you see the sophomore guard. It's a nice pass, great vision. Petrie delaying, now a four. 88-64. Free throw long, ball tipped, and run down by Porter. This is the Mike Mitchell Jr. at 56 threes last year, but all the notoriety went to Houston Millette, who set a freshman record with 71. Last season, this is Millette wearing number zero. Back to Mike Mitchell Jr. is a terrific outside shooter. The pass to Petrie, the lane is good, and the foul. And Petrie with six quick points, moving well without the ball. Fouls on Bell, three on him, 10 team fouls. Petrie at the line, trying to complete the three-point play, 90-64. Pepperdine, free throw, no good. Rebound taken by Perry. Well, for the Golden Eagles, they'll be off again for, what, 11 days till January 1st. Continue league play against Cal State San Marcos. Rasheed with the dribble. Against Majuk Dang in the game for the Waves. 6-5 senior. Inside Perry puts it up and in. Perry now a six, 90-66 Pepperdine, 134 to play. Javon Border dribbling, and then draws the foul. Going to be on Deuce Walker, three on him. Jared Perry at six nine, a transfer from Rogers State, originally from McKinney, Texas. And Porter at the line. Throws up and good. Porter in the game with 12. Lewis finished with 26. Mike Mitchell Jr. with nine. Houston Millette with only five. Waves do have great balance on this team. Four players averaging double figures. We throw good by Porter. And the Waves are picked seventh in a very strong West Coast Conference, but just get the feeling they continue to get better and better. A lot of talent, but they are young. And we think they're going to finish a lot higher in the standings. But the league is tough as ever. And of course, you got to deal with Gonzaga every year. Here's Deuce Walker. Back out to Rashid. Long three-pointer, and he got it. Caden Rashid. 
Nice shot, he has five. One minute left, 92-69. Out to Porter with the dribble in traffic and gets called for traveling. Waves a turnover. And for Pepperdine, that's 17. And yeah, it's great to have a 92-69 lead uh, for Pepperdine. A little bit of a concern, 17 turnovers in this game. Deuce Walker outside, and misses, goes out of bounds, and Pepperdine will get it. Please also bring in Paul Jordan, the walk-on 6'6 uh, six, six freshman from Seacliff, New York. Went to Long Island Lutheran High School. A chance to get some a you know, minute or so on the court. Practices hard. Where's number 10 in white? This is Javon Border. Clock winding down. Left side to Dang. 14 on the shot clock. Turnover 18 for Pepperdine. Encore Rashid. Shot clock turned off, 23 seconds remain. 92-69, Pepperdine. Bring it out to Rashid, a long three-pointer. Hits the back of the rim, 13 seconds. Rebound comes up and there's a foul. Going to be on Paul Jordan, uh, his first. Need to get his name in the box score. And it's a statistic, even so it's a foul. And that'll send Jared Perry to the line. Getting one and one. If they call he was shooting. Free throw no good. It was one and one. Nine seconds to go. That's going to do it. 92-69. Pepperdine will let the clock wind down. Mike Mitchell Jr. team will congratulate each other. Pepperdine wins at 92-69. Waves go to 6-5. Cal State Golden Eagles. They stay at 6-5. It's an exhibition for them. We'll come back and wrap things up. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. Now 92-69, the final scores. Pepperdine wins this game to improve the six and five on the year. It's an exhibition for the Golden Eagles. They stay at six and five, and the Waves head to the Diamond Egg Classic, the 13th annual, the leap for Honolulu tomorrow. Again, a strong field. Washington State, Utah State, Waves open up against the home school, the toughest game in the first round before about 6,000 on Thursday night on the 22nd. And game time for that contest will be 8 p.m. on the West Coast, 6 p.m. in uh, Honolulu. There'll be four games uh, that day. So it should be an exciting week of basketball. They'll play Thursday, Friday, and then uh, actually play Christmas Day on the 25th, head back home on the 26th. 92-69, Pepperdine wins it. The Waves end up shooting 61% from the field as you take a look at the highlights brought to you by University Credit Union. Castillo shoots 37% from the field for the Golden Eagles, led by Alexander Sokol with 20 points. Pepperdine led by Max Lewis with 26. 13 for Javon Border. Waves have four players in double figures. Bubakar Kulabali, 11 and 10 for Jan Zedek. The crowd today, about 300 on hand at Firestone Fieldhouse. Big win for the Waves. They break a three-game losing streak inside the overall series between Pepperdine and Cal State LA at 12 apiece. For our entire Game On Entertainment crew, I'm Al Epstein. Good afternoon, everyone.